from War Games Factory, guys, I have the Ashiguru missile troops. The standard Japanese missile troops basically were archers. You get a big long bow, took you a few years to learn how to use it well, and it was quite good until one day there were some Portuguese guys sailing by and sold them a pile of guns. And after that there, every man wanted a gun. There was a rationing of guns, the bows at various stages, but eventually everybody wanted a gun. In our box, you get 25 models, guys. So 25, you can't complain. You also get the 25 little, 25 of the little square bases that I like. All my bases, but I especially like these because they've got the name on the bottom of them. So when you go nosing around a shop or a sh somebody's shelf and you go, ah, what are these guys? You pick it up and you get to see what it is. In the box then, we get my favorite type of sprue because they'll stack in a little pile on the shelf or somewhere on a table until my wife throws them out to the garage. So I can get lots of them stacked up and I can argue that they're nice and neat, but really they're just a pile of little guys that are in the list of stuff to be built. But these guys are jump the queue. Here we start off, we have our, ver our heads with the traditional hat. We have some of the heads without the hat. We have, they all look dead on guys. They do. You can see the even the traditional sort of hairstyle here, and so on. Beside it, you'll see our bows, our long bows here. The downside, joking aside about the Portuguese selling them guns, the downside with long bows, it did take years of training to work it well. But there is that classic thing of one guy with a sword, one guy with a bow. We'll beat two guys with a sword because the bow guy will just shoot them while the other guy defensively fights them. Oh, well, that's the way I look at it anyway. We have our katana swords. Everybody gets a sword. And we have parts of our guns here. And we have the head of our guy that carries the big pack with all the supplies on it. Here we have the arms with the muskets or rifles, depending on where they got them. And here we have, if we're on here now, the legs. This is the big backpack here that carries a large supply of arrows. And then you get these, this nice little kneeling set of legs that are like all these sprues seem to have one guy with a kneeling set of legs. Then we have various bodies with the rest of the larger backpack. The rest of the legs, pairs of legs, guys, which is very good. Pairs of legs, which is very good, very useful. Here we have our quivers or, yeah, so it would be a quiver even if it's in Japan, of arrows. The rest of the bodies, the arms then, because to fit bow or gun or whatnot, we have our guy with our, I can't remember the name of these things, but basically a wooden staff with metal rings around it to smack people with. And then we have some arms here. And finally we have the little standards. Each guy can get his little standard to say, hello, my name's Paul and I'm here to fight. But guys, you get five of these sprues that are always very good. I've built the Samurais and the Bog Standard Ashiguru uh, troops. Now I'm gonna go build some guys with guns and some guys with bows, and we'll get to see what they look like in the second half of the videos. See you then, guys. <laughs> Guys, now I have my little Ashinguru Warriors built. The building of them, quality guys across the board and quality shows whenever you go to build some. It's all set, it's all well designed. And they all go together, little tuba, the Revel glue, and they all went together without a doubt, easily. Uh, here, we start off and built us a couple of archers so that you can see. You can just have ranks of archers that look very similar, all very disciplined in that Eastern sort of pose that we all do our job and we don't argue because we are just here to obey. Apart from the one guy shooting our guy back of the head, but still. Uh, to build, perfectly fine guys, no problems with them. And I think you can see from what I can see, their quality, they're very good. A little bit of cleaning off the occasional little bit here uh, and some paint on these and these guys would look really, really well. 
I also built our little pack guy who's carrying his pack. Comes with special arms and all for him and his own uh, head uh, for the car in the pack. And he's going to reload everybody's covers as they run out of arrows. So you get plenty of shooting. But the downside with arrows and longbows, it took a long time to perfect how to use them. And our little warriors eventually got some guns. Bought some guns, which helped. Not everybody had a gun at the start, so you couldn't have everybody. But again, I used these little kneel down legs which for me is a bit of a shooty sort of pose he's got his little katana swords like everybody has uh again no bother building them like with with this these arms are poseable and his gun but you can clearly figure out which arms it is here like this which i really liked this arrow and this arm is all one piece so you get it on and then you can fix your arrow and then your bow and the arms one piece so they're really easy to do but all of it guys they all just work across the board i think they're very very good little models it's rare that i see models of this quality it's up to you guys i'm going to get on what do you think of them do you like them i would love personally to be able to have these instead of knoblers in my ogre army all these little guys guys with their bows i think would just be great but i'm going to get on before I get carried away and I'll see you in the next one guys.